thing. Uh, shit. Fuck. Need to relaunch uh, TF2. Okay. <sighs> so, do you know any uh, what you're gonna talk about during the commentary? Like, yeah, I've got a good idea. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's sixteen six hundred, right? Yes. Okay. Loading. The control point is being Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go. Hello everyone, this is the Magician, and with me the Mysterious. Hi, I'm the Mysterious, I'm the team leader of the UGC Highlander team that the Magician plays for. And uh, today uh, we're going to see me play as a scout on Harvest. Um, because I'm not a good scout, he is a good scout, I want to be a good scout, so he's gonna say what's wrong with my gameplay. So, so right then, when you ran straight as a, a sniper as he was, had scope zoomed down at you, you should have been straight from side to side to avoid the headshot. Yeah. During this point where he isn't doing much, I'll try to explain that. Oh, um, the scout, the scatter gun, does around 30 or so damage from mid range. But point blank, a meat shot, which is when you get all the pellets into their body, does an upwards of 100 damage. Yeah, and those numbers are something you want to keep in mind. Uh, yeah, so you want to know how much damage you can do to know whether uh, you should pursue a situation. Right here, you are dancing awfully close to that sticky bomb, even though you got the kill anyway. Yeah, obviously, I'm not playing with uh, really good players, so. Uh, I'm getting away with stuff I shouldn't be getting away with. Yeah, during that part you did a good job of avoiding the pyro and just staying out of range of his flames. Which is something um, I still need to work on as a spy, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Always. Uh, this scout, when you got the first 9 damage meat shot, you should have pursued him instead of giving him a chance, instead of backing off and giving him a chance to run. Yeah. Yeah, also seeing that livery launch a soldier, that's a very bad news for a scout. To me, the soldier is any good. He should stay away from livery launch for soldiers. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to get the flank on him. <laughs> um, unfortunately, most soldiers are playing against are not very good. Why don't you get away with situations that you would not be able to at a higher level of play? Yeah, exactly. I would not play scouts on uh, lobby, for example. <laughs> Um, that's a good way to approach the sniper in that typical sniper's point and get some damage on him. And this is a <laughs> very hilarious kill on a very dumb spy. Um, as we're here, right here, might have been a bad idea to stick with that scatter gun and get the higher damage shots on that sentry. But at the same time, I'm only getting so many pellets on it, so. Yeah. Kind of up to grabs. You could have done more damage, but at the same time, with no other ally near, if the ally was shooting died, it could have turned to you and got a couple of shot sh shots off of you. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's why I was waiting for. Uh, I was making sure that there were people for it to shoot other than me. There's a haunting demo man. Give you a very free kill. <laughs> and I even get a crit on it. In a situation where if you had going forward, you would have woken up from the bonk and explode. He's getting a free kill on you. But you fortunately stopped right at the last second and started backing up. Yeah, I have a good sense of when the bonk uh, starts and ends, um, depending on each, on the distance. You remember that if you get a headshot off the bonk, it lasts, I believe, two seconds, but I may be slightly wrong in that number. So you need to watch when you get that 45 damage number, knowing that you have a lot of time to go up and kill whoever it is that you bonk. Yeah. There you can see some amazing aim. Here's your revenge crits, and I don't like that. It's a bad idea to st stay at mid range when facing a sniper. You should get very close to him. Yeah. And you can see that most of the team was distracted with the point. And none of them were really watching him besides the sniper, so you should have been for the. Try to get one good meat shot on him to finish him off and not give him a chance to headshot you. Yeah, because again, if I were playing with uh, a good sniper, then I'd be screwed. Yeah. Watching that spy get good trick stab on that pyro. Yeah, that made me feel unalone. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, as the round change, as like, round changes, I can tell you that um, you need to know the different areas of the map you're on. You need to know all the different routes you can go on. For yeah. example, this map. There's some weird routes where they only work on one side of the map, but not the other. You'll see a uh, magician try to attempt the routes on the sides. You can't do them soon. Right. And you saw right there, see how the corner I him put down Chris Diggy as well as hearing the sound. Yeah, you still went and jumped over, allowing, giving that demo a very easy kill. Yeah, I, I realized at the last second that that was a crit. So, uh... <laughs> I felt stupid. Right here, um... Unfortunately, you got a random crit on you, but... The medium health kit gives class half of their health. So, a soldier picking up is exactly 100 HP. A 125 health means 63 HP. So on and so forth. Yeah. So, you should know that very tight space of soldier with the exact same health as you has a very big advantage. Yeah, that's true. Although at the same time, I knew that he wouldn't be using his rockets because he's so low on health. Well, uh, I didn't. Most I'd, soldiers, when they switch to get health back, they switch back to their rocket launcher. Yeah, I wasn't thinking that about the health back. That's a problem. Wonder what's going on now. Um, maybe you should be playing right now instead of staying in the middle of the action. There's a too much going on, but a lot going on. Right there. Also, when approaching that soldier, you shouldn't have shot that first shot. You should have waited till you got to get in range for a good meat shot. As yeah. not give away your element of surprise. Yeah. By the way, here I was trying because um, on this map it's not it's basically symmetrical, but not entirely. So I was trying to. Uh, it works on the other side, but not on uh, blue side for some reason. Yeah. This map tries to lie and tell you it's symmetrical, but it's not quite. And that can be quite annoying for scouts to want to get certain jumps off.